In this video I'll talk about the various um, changes made to patch 16 that brought some unwelcome changes to multiplayer prices and unit unit um, stats. So for example we have these Illyrian Thoreo spears. They used to cost I believe it was 330, they were increased in price to 360 should be increased in price to 360 according to the patch notes but it looks like CA messed it up and increased their price to 560 instead so that means that these Illyrian Thoreo spears that are in every way worse than Illyrian marines all of a sudden cost more and that took away one of the the very cost effective low tier units of the RDA a faction that needs all the help it can get so that change was pretty bad for the RDA for let's see here for um, for Athens the mercenary Thracian warriors cost more than the standard uh, merc than the standard Thracian warriors so standard Thracian warriors are 420 the mercenary variety is 500 it doesn't end there the mercenary Thracian Peltasts cost as much as the Thracian Peltasts, but the Thracian Peltasts are very heavy missile infantry, while these guys are very light missile infantry. And that might not seem important, but if these guys are charged by light or medium cavalry, the unit mass is going to make the difference between the mercenary Thracian Peltasts losing in that combat and the Thracian Peltasts winning the combat. For the, let's see, then we have to go to Macedon. For Macedon, we have the same pricing of the Thracian Warriors. The mercenary Thracian Peltas are very light here as well. For the mercenary Thracian Cavalry, uh, there is a pretty massive difference in stats between the Thracian Cavalry and the mercenary variety. So the Thracian Cavalry, the amount of missile damage, range, shots per minute and am ammunition is the same. But the melee attack, weapon damage and charge bonus is a lot higher for the Thracian Cavalry than it is for the merc mercenary variety. So the melee attack is only 14, while it's uh, it's a pretty massive 40 for the non-mercenary variety. Same with, with weapon damage and charge bonus, everything is better with the Thracian Cavalry, but the price is the same. For Pontus... We have the naked swords, and <laughs> well, uh, the mercenary naked swords cost a hundred less than I believe it's Galatia that has the yeah. So naked swords for Pontus cost a hundred less. Mercenary naked swords cost a hundred less than the naked swords of Galatia, and that is pretty massive considering the already cost-effective builds that Pontus can bring. Bringing four of these units. Uh, four of the mercenary naked swords means that you can bring an additional Celtic warrior. You can bring um, for the the funds that you save up. You can bring two Eastern spearmen. You can bring an additional skirmisher. So it's very decisive uh, for Pontus being able to essentially spend four hundred extra funds on their army compared to what other factions are able to. And I've notified a few tournament hosters about this. Some have decided to ban the uh, mercenary naked swords. Some don't think it makes much of a difference. But if a faction consistently can bring one more unit than other factions, I think that's pretty bad. And I think they should be banned in uh, tournaments or the funds should be um, subtracted, from, subtracted from the total funds available to Pontus. Quite a few of these mistakes made by CA with the uh, with the uh, with the recent patch. Now, and I hope these things will be fixed in patch uh, 17. I don't count on it, but I at least hope they will. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but the club levy got an increase in their armor mainly because of having better shields. They don't have the shock shields. Uh, the Bloodsorn still retain their same shields. They have the shock shields that gives them a nice. Uh, chance to block incoming enemy missiles, but it's not going to give them a huge boost to their armor. The same with the wolf warriors and the berserkers. So now the club levy has a better shield than the bloodsorn, the berserkers, 
and the wolf warriors and giving all of these units the shield that gives them a 30 bonus to armor would make a lot of sense especially for the for the bloodsorn that is a unit that really gets used it would make a lot of sense for the wolf warriors as well they really need an increase in armor in order to 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 be able to stay in melee because the only way that these units are going to be really effective is through using Ariovistus and stacking it with with uh, Frenzy. If you uh, aren't able to get use Ariovistus, these units are just going to die to cavalry, to to prolonged infantry engagements, to just about anything. So it would have been nice to have the Bloodsorn, the Berserkers, and the Wolf Warriors get the same shields that the Club Levy gets, because the Club Levy gets the better shield. So let's see, I think that was it for the changes. I might have forgotten something here, I just went on, uh, went, um, went with what I could remember at the top of my head. And we can look at the pick peltas as well, I made a separate video about this, but it, it's not really a glitch, but it's more of a uh, strange design decision. These guys have 65 armor, but they are light missile infantry. And for Pontus, we have the... let's see, where is Pontus? There is Pontus. So for Pontus, we have the um, Pontic Peltasts. They have 65 armor. They are also light missile infantry. If we have a look at the Thracian Peltasts, they are very heavy missile infantry with 30 armor. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in... Um, because... You would think that having more armor would make them more capable to stand up to cavalry units and such. And that's it for the changes I would like to see in patch 17 that are just straight mistakes made by the creative assembly when they introduced patch 16. Um, there are of course many balance balancing changes I would like to see made. But this is just the straight up mistakes that need to be fixed if this game is going to be playable in, in um, a competitive multiplayer setting. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the battlefield.